Peter Chips. Yep. Yeah, some of those. Um, Talk for a drink. Yeah. Not it for an interruption. Well, yeah, we're just gonna make some dinner. Uh, let's get ourselves sorted here. You wanna do that? Ah! Yeah. So why, why does that happen this way? It just mixes while you while you pouring it. Right. See, I don't generally get a wet finger. I don't generally mix, but if you're going to, you want to make sure you're yeah. you're mixed. Good. Might want to. Um, I'm from Australia, so yeah. Might want to just put a little bit more in here. Otherwise, one drink's going to be enough. Oh, uh, noted. So we only get little bottles. <laughs> so when we drink half a bottle of Jacks, it's really only a glass of Jacks. So, uh, massive, look at it. Yeah, that was full. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to, uh, we're going to have some delicious tilapia. Yeah. Fish from tilapia stand. Somewhere. And, uh, we've got some, some stuff down here. And shrimp, which is prawns. And they're not shrimps, they're big. Yeah. 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 So, uh, we'll take you through it. And uh, would like to welcome a new sponsor to Cooking with Perry and Sully, the Nunchucker. Do all your chucking with the Nunchucker. Try it today, won't you? At farmersweek.com. A stunning endorsement right there. Correct. Right. Taz on the Greyhound. <clears throat> you like a Nunchucker, don't you? Yes, you do. It smells good. Smells like tone. <laughs> All right. So, what do we do? Um, you wanna you wanna talk about what you got back here real quick? Oh, I know you kind of did. We can. Um, what did you do? I did shrimp yeah. prawns, which aren't really a shrimp. They're big. Yes. Uh, more like lobster size. Yeah. Uh, wrapped in prosciutto. Yeah. How do you say that? Prosciutto. Yeah. Well, it's the same. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic on there. Yeah. And a little bit of butter. Yeah. And fry them on a hot plate. Lovingly. Or at least with respect. Yeah. Sometimes it's all we ask. About a minute aside. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't even know how long it takes. Okay. Because I mean, with shrimp anyway, you can eat it raw. <laughs> if you're eating sushi, maybe. But yeah. I'm not Japanese enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> to go along with that, we'll be having, as mentioned, delicious tilapia from Tilapia Stan. Uh, essentially, we're going to take some tilapia. What? Tilapia what? Stan? It's made up. It's a uh, made up faraway it's land. It's from Europe. It's European. <laughs> yes. <Awesome. And laughs> so uh, we're going to get some parchment paper. Got that in there. We're going to get some tilapia, we're going to get some Old Bay seasoning, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, uh, lemon, a little bit of lemon zest, some lemon juice. It sounds like it's a lot, but it's not. Stick around, we'll get to it. In three, two, I don't even know why I'm counting down. I don't know. Okay, so uh, I'm going to clear up some space. Do you want to, did you want to chop? Do you want me to cut there? Yeah, if you like, you can, you can chop that up. I'm going to put this over here. First thing you want to do is uh, take this lemon and get some zest. You know, you know, rinse the lemon. Makes it extra zesty. That's some fine chopping you're doing there. Mm -hmm. I'm chopping um, with the grain. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it'd be across the grain. That's the other option, across the grain. Yeah. Um, these. Sugar snap peas, uh -huh. uh, quarter sole. Also, also can also be known as snow peas. Yeah. Uh, well, no, delicious. snow peas. Do they normally have a cover on. What are you talking on? about? Yeah, they got little jackets. Right. <laughs> In case they get cold from being a snow pea. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to. Uh, I've got the grater as opposed to the less than. We need a model here to check how zesty the lemon is. Uh, with a squirt in the eye. Chibi, do you want to come and get a squirt in the eye? I don't want a squirt in the eye. Very <laughs> you normally love it. <laughs> wow! Chibi, <laughs> you ready? Chibi, you ready? Mm. 
<laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter, I think is what it actually is. Smell of that lemon. I can smell the lemony goodness. Zesty, right? Mm. So who's the better chef of you two? I don't know. I, I don't view it as a competition. I don't really uh, I don't really chef a lot, but I uh, I'm answering questions from the peanut gallery who refuses to be on camera. <laughs> So, um, I chef a lot. Yeah, I've been I... chefing for a long time. Um, I enjoy chefery. Why did you He's have not to being chef? a nice guy. Okay. Sorry? Why do you choose to chef rather than... Because I actually get to eat. So, when my wife, as lovely as she is, cooks, it's usually a disaster. Aww. No, it's not too bad. She usually goes for a pre-cooked meal and puts it in the oven at the last minute. Forgets to turn on the oven and tries to claim that she cooked it. Aww. Yeah, is that the truth? Wait, it's the truth, right? Sometimes. Yeah. All right, so I've got my lemon zest. Zesty. Put a little bit of olive oil in there. Why? Because this recipe says so. From Every Day with Rachel Ray. This was uh, page 110 um, from a magazine, and it's just delicious. So, we're going to preheat the oven to 425. We're going to do that over here. Bake. Fahrenheit. Nope. Okay, I'll move that over there. Okay, the next thing I need is our parchment paper to make our packets. And some of this might just become off camera. Here. Also known as baking paper for Australians or wax paper. Is it wax paper? No, or it's not. Smell? No? It's a, it's a little bit... Parchment is a colour, right? Well, but it's also a kind of paper. It's, it's a little waxy, but it's, I don't think it's wax that's, that's, coated. That's, that's wax paper. You use your that when you're paper. veneering tops. You put that down the, between your template and your... I got wax paper in there. It's not this. It is a little different. Any noodle. So we're going to, uh, to make the packets, you need uh, individual slices, about a foot-ish, there's a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and make those. Tear with the grain, or a pot of grain, whichever it calls for. So do you go, uh, like, tunomatic with your... Prosciutto ponds, or you, you, you flight rose that? I use the custom Olmsby frying pan. Oh, yeah. Nice. With a two-point hardened knife edges and uh, adjustable string spacing. Mm, very nice. Uh, adding to our zest, I just need to put a little bit of. No, oh, it's a lemon juice. Yeah. Hold, please. I gotta read. Mm -hmm. In a bowl. I the thought corn. that said sandpaper. <laughs> it's in there. Salt and pepper. <laughs> All right, so we're going to uh, we preheated the oven to 425. We cut up four pieces of parchment paper. Uh, next, kids, you want to write all this stuff down? I should share this recipe. It, it is quite good. Um, we're going to take a bowl. We're going to combine the corn, sugar snap peas, add and lemon peel, semicolon, season with salt and pepper, like you do. So let's do that. Going to get a bowl. Over here. <clears throat> Down here. The budget for this meal is $2.21 per person. Mm. Our total bill so far is about $82. So <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> what happened there. <laughs> oh, salt and pepper are freebies. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very white. Um, this actually is uh, it's it's super it's super sweet white corn. Um, Why would you have white corn rather than yellow regular corn? They exist. We have all. We welcome all kinds of corn. We, we're not uh, we're not corn racists. I like my yellow corn. I like my yellow corn too. But I saw that it was super sweet. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, you okay. can't. Right. It's super sweet, man. You gotta get it. 
Okay, uh, we got that. Uh, uh, corn pen, snooze pen, lemon peel, see the salt and pepper. Lemon peel. Salt and pepper. Pinch. Because you don't need to put a whole bunch of salt in there, right? I mean, it's. <clears throat> Everything is so much bigger in Texas, right? have to do with putting salt on anything. Fill up the size of the salt shaker. Well, but it's not a salt shaker. Actually, um, this once held chocolate filled peppermint snaps. I'm just going to let you just kind of marinate on that for a little while and just, just contemplate it all. Pepper. That's regular sauce pepper. Yeah. Shavings? Yeah. 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 We'll do, do that later. Yep. Yeah. Mix it with some CA. Yes. Yeah. Some medium mm -hmm. or even some thick. To, yep. You know, to kind of. Recipes by Dan Irwin, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, my corn should have these lime peels. Mixture along. Divide the mixture along the parchment pieces in top with the fish. Season the fish with the Old Bay, then the olive oil and lemon juice. So we're going to do that. So you can also use uh, nitrocellulose. Yeah, yeah. It takes a little bit longer for it to cure though. Yeah, 50-50 with uh, thinners mm -hmm. or acetone, is that what you call it? Uh, you can use acetone, but like you know, thinner, lacquer thinner, it's its own thing. We're using quilted. What is it? Quilted tilapia. Yeah, tilapia. I was gonna say tragalia. We can call it tragalia. Whatever. Tragalia me with your tails. Yes, or whatever. Okay, so we're gonna move this. This is dead. Yep. We're moving on. Move this off to the side. We're gonna take our pieces of parchment paper. Pieces of parchment paper. That is fun to say. We're gonna lay it out. So we take the tilapia, put it in the center. Oh, we need to mix that up a little bit. So let's do that. Give me a spoon and I'll... We prepared this one earlier. <clears throat> but also at the same time. Yeah. Notice that he's holding to keep from spilling over. It's a, it's a technique that uh, they don't necessarily teach you at Roberto Venn um, or any of the other cooking luthiery schools. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of one of those things that you learn on the fly. And that's what's happening right now. That's the mung holding uh, technique. <laughs> More. I learned that one last night. Yeah, yeah. Just leave that at that. What's the mung surname? Aloyd. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, stewardess. I speak jive. I think I think I think we're mixed. Yeah. All right. So I actually don't see any lemon in there anymore, but uh, it means it's mixed. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So we're, can't, we're, we're gonna take. Can't tell against the white corn background. I got your white corn background. A bit of this. Uh, yeah. Spoon. Good. Yeah. Gonna spoon it on. So you're just gonna kind of cover stuff up. You know, like so. There's also like your little side dishes here. We should make this a DVD for like 1995. How much would you pay? But wait, there's more. We could do a monthly subscription with no updates. With no updates? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a <laughs> nice, a neglected monthly subscription. Reoccurring billing. All right, so there's one that'll sit there. Thank you. Yoink. Need my double stick tape. <clears throat> and so, you know, it's a fair amount of corn. You just buy a bag of, of frozen corn and it's going to cook all together. And, uh, you know, so you. Have Dole it out, and then if you got extras, you know, 
and you break it on up along the rest. Each individual corn kernel has been checked for grain straightness. Yeah. Um, we've tap tested every snow. <laughs> yes, and they, they just they all rang at the same pitch. The resonance. You have no idea how Paul, many bags of snow peas we tap tested. Paul Reed Smith. He's got nothing on us. Yeah, we're like P. Reed Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there's another there. Uh, kind sort of running out of real going. estate here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just do this. The last of the delicious tilapia. Uh -huh. Corn, corn. So, as mentioned, we have extra vegetables. So, we kind of light on anybody? This one's kind of a little bit more there. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like when you're making an ESP. If you've got leftover lacquer, you just keep putting it on and putting it on and putting it on and putting it on. Um, the more, more is better, really. Oh, some, yeah. some things. Um, or if you don't get your neck angle right, you just shim, you just shim, you shim, you shim until it gets right. You'll know when it's right. Okay, so now we need to go with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Do we season have... the fish with Old Bay olive oil lemon juice? Do we have any virgins? Extra. Oh, well, we don't have any, so. I don't know where we're going to get extra from. Well, we're going to have to, we're going to have to get over that somehow. Old Bay. Old Bay. So it's just crab seasoning for, for seafood, poultry, salads, meats. And so pretty much everything. Everything. Is there any food group that doesn't? So you just kind of... Can say. No, no. It's uh. Not a whole lot comes out, so we go there. A nice little kind of seasoning from Maryland, where your M3 was. Yeah. yeah. Also the home of uh, PRS Guitar Bank Kicks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, everybody else that lives in Maryland. All right, so we got that. A little bit of lemon juice. Save. You grab me a fork from that drawer. <clears throat> Delightful. So in juicing a lemon, I learned from Martha Stewart that if you put a fork in there, it makes it even juicier. Or more effective, I guess. Well, oh, hey, the oven's preheated. Didn't she go to jail for embezzlement? Yeah, but it had nothing to do with lemon forking. Okay. Lemon what? Forking. Le what? Forking. I'm forking the lemon right now. Lemon forkery. You can also rub this on a fretboard. It's lovely. Zesty. Uh, Aslan doesn't like the idea. Lemon He's more oil. of a linseed oil kind of guy. Lemon oil has no lemon oil in it. I know. It's insane. Yeah. Pure petroleum, prop based product. Right. Um, destroys the ozone, but keeps your fretboard pretty cool. Yeah, no one can take that away from you. No one. Uh, a little bit of olive oil. Where did that go? Here it is. I see it. So, uh, this, is this olive oil? <laughs> Not quite. <clears throat> Seriously? There we go. Mm, just like a thing of paint. It's got a little thing on there. We need about two tablespoons. So I'm going to get like a half a tablespoon over here. Looking for a spoon. Uh, do we just pour it on? Talk to him. Like uh, it's, it's, it's the same as if you're mixing lacquer. Just put in as much as you want. Eyeball it. Just a little bit. Just kind of keep things going. There you go. Oop. Yeah. Okay. And then you kind of get everything in the center because you got to do some folding here. Like that. I like to kind of pull it all back. 
back here. Fold it over. I can't cook the sheet. Fold it? Yeah. And put it upside down on the fold. Approximately, well, these are kind of larger, so we're going to go about 15 to 20 minutes or so, or until the fish is uh, all opaque. Not a trans finish. No trans fish. In Australian, that means cooked. Yeah. It looks like a telly blonde. Is that right, yeah? No. No? No. You want to, you want to, it's kind of white. We go 15. We'll turn the light on so we can watch it go. Uh, I think that's it for now. We need another drink. We have an evaporation problem in this house. Yeah. So let's do that. Some cook. <laughs> I thought you said when I said you put some in there, you said, uh huh? No, man, I'm good. Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, until uh, it's done, go make yourself some jacks. <sighs> Cooking with Pez, man of many talents. Okay, so we've got our shrimp, yeah. we've added prosciutto. What's the prosciutto? Perry? Ah, uh, some Italiano meat. How would you say it in Italian, Perry? Prosciutto. Put a bit of butter in there, which doesn't even look like butter. It looks like ice cream. Yep. Which you've uh, had a few experiences before. I have eaten American ice cream. It tastes like butter. Yep. Where was that, Perry? I hop. We don't eat I hop. Perry can't. Yep. What you cook it on at home? Stove top. Do you ever cook it on a barbecue? How many? A babby? Oh uh, yeah, we always barbecue. We always chuck shrimp on the barbie. Shrimp is always best on the barbie. Bit of whatever the hell that shit is. Sprinkles? Yeah. Add your sprinkles on. A dash of Mrs. Dash. Yeah, felt free, apparently. Give it a bit of a movement. Turn it off a little bit. When we get her in the video, she will make it famous. Me? Yeah. I'm Mrs. Ormsey. I don't cook at home. Well, sometimes I try to. I do, on the odd occasion, buy a cooked chicken and I will put it in my oven and I'll wait for my hard-working husband to come home from work and then uh, claim that I made this amazing chicken with this uh, great herb stuffing until he takes a mouthful and it's usually stone cold. Yeah, because you know, she's forgotten to put the oven on. But, you know, whatever, she tries. Yes, yeah. one has to try. 
So yeah, Perry does most of the cooking at home, as well as most of the earning. So that's nice. I just have to sort of be around. What do you do? At home? I clean. After you. Doesn't clean the factory, does. <laughs> Don't go in there. Too much crap. Too much dust. Oh, it's delicious. Man, if this was if this was filmed in smell o vision you guys would be really enjoying this right about now. Gordon Ramsay would be dead -o. Totally. And I'm going to turn the fan on. Yeah. It's going to be hard to hear, so there's so many things we could shout to you right now, but we're going to cut. Cut. Okay, so once you've cooked your prawn slash shrimps, all you've got to do is put two on each plate, just like that. Make sure they're evenly spaced in the corner there. And on center line, right? Well, you know, <laughs> if this was a Gibson shrimp, you don't worry about the center line. You don't even worry if it's cooked or not. No. Two shrimp per page. I mean, plate, whatever. <laughs> Do you really say per page? Yeah, nice. these, these drinks are very string. <laughs> uh, make sure your hot plate's off, and um, then you serve up your fish. You can see the beautiful flame striping, and the grain, it's quarter sawn. Delicious tilapia is done. Yep. Aslan is very excited about it. Uh, we've got our prosciutto wrapped prawn on the plates next to the jets. And uh, let's just have dinner, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> We've been fucking around with this video for so long, everything's cold. Um, yeah, that was, let's, let's yeah. toast. Shimmy, come on in. Okay. Uh, you can't wait for the nice lady. Nah, the, one, the one you she's married. All, she's always wrong. So, thanks, friends. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. That's Thunder. Yeah. I'm down under. <laughs> Thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening.